What is going on, everybody? BBB Collectibles, and we are back. Oh, and we're back. And we're back with something a little different and, and a video that's basically been over four months in the making. So when the pandemic hit and COVID came and I started digging through a lot of my collection and buying some stuff, I decided that, you know what? I'm going to give SGC a try. So here's what I'm getting into. So what I did was I picked out eight of my nicest cards that I wanted to get graded uh, back in May. Back in May. So I sent them off in May. I sent them 15-day to a grading company called SGC. So everybody pretty much knows who's watching this. There's there's three professional grading companies. There's PSA. There's BGS. PSA, I would say, is the number one. BGS is Beckett Grading Services. They're number two. And then you've got who's really thought of as the third, but but coming up. It's it's the little engine that could. Um, SGC, um, which I got stuff graded from SGC many, many years ago. They've been in business for a long time. They're known for grading vintage cards but not necessarily a lot of the newer stuff. Well, I sent them some newer stuff, and I also sent them a vintage card. So today, we're going to mix it up. We're going to do something a little different, and uh, I do not know the grades on these cards. Um, I've sent them off. Uh, they've been gone for four months. Um, as I'm sitting here, it's the very first of October, and I'm pretty darn excited to open this box because I've got some pretty good cards in here. Um you know, maybe cards worth, you know, thousands of dollars in here, possibly. Um, I have a LeBron James rookie in here. So as I'm filming this, the NBA finals are going on. So gosh, I'm babbling. I'm babbling. I'm so I'm excited. I'm just excited. So because this has just been, like I said, four months in the making. So without further ado, we are going to open this box this box is going to contain eight graded cards from SGC. Um, while I'm opening this, I will tell you that I have, um, I have a think about three or four John ja Morant basketball. Um, I have three or four Zion Williamson. I have the uh, I have the LeBron James rookie, tops rookie uh, from 2003-2004. Man, they packed as well. And I have a 1967, I believe, Mickey Mantle. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So here's the inside of the box. And you get a nice, okay, all right, I like it. This is well packaged. I'll say this is very well packaged. They had it They had it put in there like that. So it's very nicely, nicely done, well packaged. All right. Throw that on the floor there. My handy dandy knife is coming in good handy here. I said handy twice in one sentence. That was weird. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to have to kind of try to do this without spoiling stuff. Oh, man. I'm so excited. You just don't even know. All right. So I went with... SGC because PSA, all I'm hearing about is how long their wait times are. Six months, eight months, nine months to, to get cards back from PSA. Um, if, you, if the standard time, if the wait times are the same between the three, I would totally go with PSA. They just seem to have more value. But, you know, SGC is up and coming. Beckett's had some issues, but SGC is trying. I did have contact with them a couple different times going, yo, where are my cards at? And I did get some responses. Um, I was a little disappointed. I thought they were going to try to charge me additional money for getting my LeBron James rookie uh, graded because the price had gone up so much from when I sent it. And I said, well, I haven't had an opportunity to do anything with it. You guys have had it. So I don't really think that's fair. And they wound up not charging me. So, um, which I'm very glad they didn't charge me. So, okay. So the star of the show is going to be, I think, on the bottom. Yeah, the LeBron is back home. Okay. So these are going to be in the order that I actually sent them. So this is going to be in reverse order. I don't know these grades. So 
we're going to do this. Okay, so here we go. So this is going to be a John Morant. This looks like it's a base optic. Because uh, I don't see Prism written anywhere on there. So this is going to be a base optic. I have to remember what I sent off, quite honestly. It's been so long. Well, that's a nice start, guys. That's a nice start. So there's a nice base John Morant optic. SGC 10. You do have two different 10s. You do have a 10 gem and what's called a 10 pristine. The pristines are really hard to get. Um, they're black label. They're actually really cool. Um, but what do you think of these? What do you think of these guys with the with the black around the car and the, and the white sticker? I, I like them. I like them. In person, they look really good. So, okay. All right. All right. Nicely done there, Mr. John. All right. I like that. Next is another John Moran. So <clears throat> I can tell just by looking at this that this is a Panini Prism. So this is going to be your base Prism card from this year of John Morant. Okay. Okay. 9.5. Very nice. So that's like a mint plus, you know, between 9 and 10. Um, centering might be just a smidge off on this card. Maybe that's why they hit it. My son and I did a really good job with these. We looked at them. I mean, we basically looked at them with magnifying glasses before we sent them out to double check the centering and everything on these. So we we sent what we really just thought were the were the cream of the crop at the time. So um, all right, John doesn't want to stand up. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, all right. Here's a good one. So this is going to be a prism. So this is going to be an optic prism. If I'm not mistaken. I sent a blue velocity prism uh, to, to them, so this could be the blue ver blue velocity. These are tough to grade, so don't really know how we did with this one. Oh, oh baby. Oh baby, oh baby, ooh, ooh. Okay, so that's, that's awesome. So you can see with the blue velocity how nice of a card. This really looks good in the black, um, in the black slab. I really like that. They call it the tuxedo slab. Um, so there we go. All right. So we're off to a good start. Man, if I can, if we can keep this up all the way through the LeBron and the, uh, and the mantle that's coming up, we're going to be, we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be cooking with grease. All right. So this is going to be a Zion base optic. 10. Man, that's three tens already. That's, uh, we're off to a good start, and and I've heard that SGC is pretty tough on grading, so um, I'm loving this. So that's a Zion base optic from this year. So that's a 10. This is another optic. Another 10. Wow. Okay, this is almost getting silly. Okay, but the three biggest cards are to come. So, this is a great start, though. This is a great start. I'm excited. Okay, so here's my Zion. This is going to be the Blue Velocity Prism. Uh, just And there we go with the cards. Um, this is going to be my Blue Velocity Prism, just like the John Morant. Oh, okay. All right, we've come back to Earth. And we're back. We're back to Earth. Okay, so I'm pretty intrigued why this got an eight as opposed to the 10. We're just going to put these aside over here. Do we see any difference if I put them both up here? Hmm. I'm going to have to look at these a little later. I have to look at these a little later. See what the difference is. Maybe top to bottom. Yeah, it looks a little miscut. The Zion looks a little miscut top to bottom. Now that I look at it, the jaw is definitely more centered. Okay, all right, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so we're gonna put these there. All right, this is a 68 Mickey Mantle, by the way. So, as you can see, we've got a little bit of, we got a little bit of uh, bubbling going up there in the top corner. Not anything really bad, though. I mean, this card's 52 years old. So a little softening in the corners. I thought it would get a five is what I thought it would get. 
and I was really close. It's a four and a half. And for that year, look, guys, it's 52, it's 52 years old. So a four and a half is not bad. I have a couple of five mantles. Um, you know, price range, this is probably a 200 to $250 card like this. So I'm not disappointed with that. I uh, would have liked at least a five, but I wrote down just, you know, what I thought they would get. Uh, and, and I wrote down, oh, geez. All right. So we're just going to, we're going to stop with these stands. These stands are all over the place. Okay. So here's the big one. So here's the LeBron rookie. Um, as I do this video, the Lakers are in the finals. Um, they're probably going to win the finals because Miami looks like they're really banged up. Bam out of hurt. Um, and I think their starting point guards hurt too. I think Drogic is hurt as well. Now, Tyra Hero can play, but anyway, I'm way off task. So I've had this card for many, many, many years. Um, I just want to turn it around. I think it's going to get a nine to a nine and a half is my guess. Um, the centering looks pretty good on the back. Ugh. Eight and a half. Okay. So that's considered a like a near mint to mint plus um, card. It's a little bit off. You can tell the centering top to bottom. You can tell the bottom to top centering is a little bit off, and I knew that. But the corners are super sharp on this card. I mean super sharp. Um, real glossy. Yeah, I'm not disappointed, but I'm a little disappointed. Um, but there you go. So let's rehash back in order. So LeBron, eight and a half, still a great card. Um, I, I still expect this to be close to a thousand dollar card uh, by the time the uh, the finals are over. I think his stuff, especially if he wins finals MVP, he was off to a good start after game one. Mickey Mantle, 4.5. Not bad. Not bad. John Morant, Prism, nine and a half. These are tough to grade. Um, I already have a jaw nine PSA. They're just tough to get tens because of the centering on these cards. A lot of these cards are off center. Then the nice John Moran optic 10, the blue velocity 10. This is, this is maybe my, my nicest, this may be the nicest card out of the bunch, quite honestly. I'm going to have to just research this one. I'm going to have to look at this card a little bit. I'm a little disappointed with this. I might, I may, I may crack this and get it regraded. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, and then I don't have to get these regraded because they're both Zion SGC tens. So, okay, so guys, let me know what you think about my first grading video. Like and subscribe. Leave comments um, in in the section below. If you leave any comments and ask any questions, I'll try to get back to you and answer your questions. But. Uh, you know, we're trying to do some different stuff on the channel. So uh, anyway, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll talk to you next time.